Hello and welcome to Navi's Drink Stop. Our drink for today is from the beautiful country of Brazil. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, today we will be featuring the cachaça. Cachaça is a distilled spirit made from fermented sugarcane juice. Outside Brazil, cachaça is used almost exclusively as an ingredient in tropical drinks. Cachaça can only be produced in Brazil and it is typically between 38 and 48% alcohol by volume. The major difference between cachaça and rum is that rum is usually made from molasses, a byproduct after a refinery boils the cane juice to extract as much sugar crystal as possible, while cachaça is made from fresh sugar cane juice, fermented and distilled. Cachaça is also referred to as Brazilian rum. This cachaça 51 is Brazil's leading brand of cachaça, with over 240 million liters sold annually, and is the second largest selling spirit in the world. The 51 is said to bring a sweet vanilla cream, seaweed, cut grass, honey, black pepper, and a hint of lemon to the palate. The cachaça 51 is a 40% volume. And this 70 CL can be bought for 23 pounds on the UK market. I know Navis cannot wait to try this, so let's not delay. Take it away Navis. Thank you very much Libby. Now I'm looking forward to try this one because I'm used to rum being made from molasses, which is the byproduct of sugarcane, but cachaça is produced directly from the sugarcane. So this, I think, should have probably a more earthy taste than regular rum. And no, cachaça can only be made in Brazil at the moment, there are only four countries that recognize this as a geographically protected drink, meaning that they recognize that these are the only countries that make this drink. And one of those countries is the USA, which means that it's in good hands, I think, of getting other countries to follow and recognize this as it is, just like cognac. I mean, you cannot call anything cognac if it's not made in France or Champagne. So Cachaça is one of those names that I think eventually will be protected as only being able to be made in Brazil. Um, at the moment, I think that Brazil refers to it as cane brandy. And I am told that the, trying to get that as the recognized name, because most other people see cachaça as like a rum. It's made in the same way, but as I said, one's from molasses, which is a byproduct, and one's from the sugar cane itself. So they want to differentiate it by calling it cane brandy. Um, I don't know how much they will get through with that one, but as for the geographically protected name, I think that might go through much easier. But I'm looking forward to try it. And... Let's see what this is like compared to other rum. So in the meantime, Libby will introduce the number two most expensive drink for 2022 whilst I get ready to do the tasting. Take it away, Libby. Thanks, Navis. The number two most expensive drink was the 2017 Champagne Avenue Forge. This chateau is officially the world's most expensive champagne. The bottle was offered with an NFT that gives the holder the digital art and intellectual property rights 
to an image of a now famous Bored Ape mutant, alongside the other collectible cartoon figures, featured on the bottle. This champagne was sold for £2.1 million, and this prize is owned by brothers Giovanni and Piero Buono. Now, back to you navvies. this one and I mean I really love this one I can see why it is the world's number two best-selling spirit well apart from the massive carnival in Rio the biggest carnival in the world where I assume a lot of cachaça is consumed but this is really nice now compared to other rums but as soon as you open it, you can smell the sugar cane and the vanilla popping out. And it's nice on its own, like unlike um, other rums where sometimes you get that burning sensation, it is not as harsh. And when I threw the ginger beer in there, it was like a cocktail because you get that sugar cane and that creamy kind of vanilla that's in there when the ginger beer enhanced that and it was like cream soda if you ever had cream soda it was kind of like that and then at the end you taste this kind of bitterish taste not bitter bitter but bitter as in like you've added a lemon peel to it so it was like a cocktail on its own, uh, once I threw the ginger beer in, it is absolutely lovely. I see why this is such a popular seller. And you can also taste the difference with traditional rum and this one that is straight from the sugar cane. You get that sugar cane popping out of it, so to speak. I love this. It's a definite, definite yes from me for this one. Go out, get your hands on one of these cachaça and try it. It is absolutely lovely. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> This is Navi saying it's been a pleasure sharing a drink with you all. Thanks for stopping at Navi String Stop. And remember, drink responsibly. Until we meet again for another drink, bye-bye and ta-da!